and fused polyhedrocycles. Medical University. Uh, she, by the way, used to work at St. Petersburg State University previously. Alexander Vasilyev. Может, задержка идет? Нет, но он же говорит на русском, это русский канал идет. Угу. Раз, два. Раз, два. Раз, два. Там вроде 20 секунд задержка, нет? Сейчас у меня еще идет. Раз, два. Говорим. Угу. Да, нам надо было, конечно, протестить его. А, вот это не могу следовать? Да нет, вроде угу. все правильно. О, появилось. Пошел, да? Сейчас, сейчас. Да у меня тут сбивает Юль. Да, Юль. Алло. Да, да, чего? Алло. Появился. Все, мы сейчас заново начнем. Угу. Давайте угу. заново. Угу. So we start once again, distinguished colleagues and guests. We're beginning the panel session for the defense of the thesis by uh, Leah Fund. And the thesis is submitted for the academic degree of the candidate in science of sciences in chemistry. The specialization is 020003 again in chemistry. The topic of the thesis is the reaction of nitrogen elides with 2H azurines in the synthesis of pyrrole containing heterocyclic ensembles and fused polyheterocycles. Under the order issued by St. Petersburg State University as of July 16, 2020, number 6708 1, I, Mikhail Kuznetsov, Doctor of Sciences in Chemistry, Professor of uh, the Department of Organic Chemistry of St. Petersburg State University, have been appointed the chairperson of this dissertation board. Uh, the order approved the candidacies of the members of our board. Let me introduce them. Uh, Dmitry Darian, Doctor of Sciences in Chemistry, Professor of the Natural Compounds Chemistry Department of St. Petersburg State University. Yelena Popova, Doctor of Sciences in Chemistry, Professor of the Department of General and Bioorganic Chemistry of the Pavlov Medical University. That previously used to work at St. Petersburg State University. Alexander Vasilyev, a Doctor of Sciences in Chemistry, Professor, uh, Director of the Institute for Wood Biomass Chemical Processing and Atmosphere Safety of St. Petersburg um, uh, um, Timber University. Vladimir Ostrovsky, Doctor of Sciences in Chemistry, Professor of uh, the Department of Chemistry and Technology of uh, Organic Nitrogen Compounds of the St. Petersburg State Institute of Technology. 
One member of the board is working in remote mode. That's Helena Korolova, Doctor of Sciences in Chemistry, Associate Professor, Senior Researcher of the Institute of Chemistry of New Materials, Belarus National Academy of Sciences from Belarus. Do you see us and hear us? Yes, the answer is yes. And also we have our candidate for the degree, uh, the admitter of the fund. We also have the thesis supervisor, Alexander Hlebnikov, Doctor of Sciences in Chemistry, Professor of the Department of Organic Chemistry of St. Petersburg State University. The colleagues who are working in the remote mode, in order to improve the quality of our connection, kindly turn off your microphones, but don't forget to turn them on when I give you the floor. And I would also like to inform you that the panel session of the dissertation board is being recorded and broadcast on the St. Petersburg State University website, and it is also interpreted into English. Currently, we have an email address posted on the page with live broadcast of the board session, and all listeners can submit their questions to Ms. Font online. The questions regarding the thesis or scientific discussion. These questions will be forwarded to me by our technical service, and I will read them out during the discussion. Questions must be related to the presentation or and the content of the thesis. And do not forget to give your name and position if you submit a question. Questions that have nothing to do with the scientific discussion or dissertation or with assessment of the thesis will not be voiced. Under the order on the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University, Approved by local normative acts of St. Petersburg State University, the session of the dissertation board is valid, provided two thirds of the appointed board members are present. The total number is not to be fewer than four people. Our dissertation board consists of six people. Everyone is with us today, including one member of the board uh, via an interactive regime. We have a connection, a multimedia connection with all the members of the board. <laughs> Therefore, we have a quorum. Our session should not uh, last more than two hours, and the agenda is as follows. First, the chairman's presentation about the documents submitted by the candidate for the degree and their conformity with uh, the requirements and chairman's replies to questions, if any. Then, candidate's presentation providing an overview and findings of the research. So, uh, 15 or 20 minutes. Traditionally, we have 20 minutes for the defense. Then, questions to the candidate regarding the presentation. No more than two minutes for each question. The candidate's replies to the questions, no more than five minutes. Reports on the thesis, the board members will be uh, taking the floor in turns to provide their reviews uh, and questions. And, and with the offers to the candidate for the degree. Um, then the chairman's report on the thesis, and then other candidates' comments about the reports on the thesis and replies to questions, no more than 20 minutes. And then open discussion. Anyone present at the defense may give their position. Not necessarily there should be the board members. Uh, but you can take the floor and uh, state your position or ask questions on the thesis. 
then uh, the chairman will ask the questions submitted during the broadcast uh, via our website. Then candidates replies to the questions. After that, we have the presentation of the candidate's thesis supervisor. And not on uh, the thesis, but on some characteristics of the candidate for the degree. Then five minute discussion before are there open balloting on conferring or non conferring the academic degree. The discussion of the results of the defense is not broadcast. Then open balloting where you have to give your position. And do you support the conferring of the academic degree or not, or do you abstain from the vote? Then making a decision on whether to confer the academic degree or not, and candidates closing speech no more than two minutes. So distinguished colleagues, do you have any questions or comments on our agenda? So I hear none. If there are no questions, let me proceed to our agenda. But before we do that, I kindly ask you to switch off your mobile phones. Thank you. So let me start. So the thesis was submitted in two languages. All the necessary documents were also submitted. And as far as I know, today our candidate for the degree, Leif Fund, is ready to start her report. So please, you have the floor. Distinguished colleagues, good morning. I would like to give the results of my work. So these molecules are interesting not because they demonstrate a variety of biological activity and uh, but because they can act as prerequisites of stable carbines and their complexes previously unknown uh, uh, Paralytes and heterocyclic mesomere betaines can tomerize in unheterocyclic carbons and can be used as the pre precursors of NHC ligands with uh, parallel uh, substitute. And such target compounds uh, have high synthetic potential, and they can be initial ones to get the nitrogen-containing uh, condensed heterocyclic carcasses of new type uh, that demonstrate luminescent uh, characteristics. And the goal of this study was uh, to uh, create effective methods of synthesis and new ensembles of heterocycles uh, uh, and condensed uh, polyheterocycles. Um, and in order to achieve this goal, we resolved the following uh, tasks. We found conditions for the generation of azolium elides from salts and the development of synthesis method based on their reaction with azarines. Uh, pyrrole imidazole and pyrrole triazole, finding conditions for the generation of peridinium elides uh, from an alkoxy uh, carbonyl methyl uh, peridinium uh, salts, and the development of synthesis methods and uh, obtaining of uh, pyrrole triazole salts with autohalogen phenyl substitutes, and finding conditions for their methyl catalyzed and free radical cyclization and modification of initial products of elite reactions with azarines. And the thing this is of new heterocyclic elites and the study of uh, equilibrium elites. The first stage of work, we chose metazole elides that were obtained um, based on uh, uh, 
So the technical break is over. We continue our session. And before we continue, I would like to inform the list that I forgot to tell you. So and the number of publications of our work in it for the degree. There are five published works that describe the research findings. Oh, these include no papers published in peer-reviewed journals recommended by the Ministry of Education and Science. And there are five papers in publications indexed in uh, Web of Science. And uh, Scopus. The candidate has submitted the full set of documents uh, to the academic degree, uh, to the academic secretary. And the above mentioned documents comply with item 12 of section 3 on the order on the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. Are they all asked toward are kept? in the certification file, and the curator of the defense, a member of the Department of Dissertation Board support um, that is present at our session has them. Any questions on the documents submitted by the candidate for the degree? OK, if no, please continue. Our first stage of work as a study object, we uh, chose imidazole elites that are obtained uh, on the basis of phenacyl imidazole salt. Optimizing, we found that the optimal conditions of holding reaction is the boiling of of suspense of, of phenacyl imidazole salts in uh, methylene uh, chloride. Uh, with the presence of a, uh, equivalent trace filament. We got 11 examples of substituted uh, parallel metazolium uh, prolytes. Um, and we, and we had uh, potassium hydroxide uh, uh, following elites were formed, but according to our calculations, elite form 4 is significantly more stable than the carbon 1. Uh, the equilibrium of carbon elite is shifted to elite, and the carbon form can be intercepted with a sulfur reaction that goes to a metazole thion with high yield. Uh, the described salt and elites could uh, be uh, dibenzolite uh, on poli uh, using palladium on coal. Uh, when boiling or uh, carrying out a reaction at room temperature using hydrogen as uh, the source or formate ammonium as the source of molecular hydro uh, hydrogen. Thus, we obtained several parallel metazoles with high yield. Then we started the opportunity to use uh, 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 similar uh, phenacyl triazole salts. Phenacyl triazole salts were introduced into the reaction with phenyl azurines. Uh, the reaction conditions optimal for imidazole substrates uh, were unfit in this case. Therefore, we carried out optimization. And uh, by its results, we chose the best option that provide for the reaction in acetyl nitrile at room temperature using the equivalence of triazolamin. Using optimal conditions, we synthesize a range of parallel triazolamin bromides 
uh, both derivatives, 1, 2, 4, 4 H triazoles and 1, 2, 4, 1 H on triazoles. The reaction allows us to synthesize vari uh, various pro prolothiazole bromides that contain a phenyl aryl and methoxycarbonyl substitutes. Aryl substitutes can in turn have donor and acceptor groups and automata and power positions. The yields vary from 30 to 88 percent. In order to obtain parallel triazoles of two types, we're required to take out benzyl protection uh, from the uh, nitrogen atom. And uh, as in case with imidazole or analogs, we uh, uh, choose the method of, arrest, uh, of reduction, debenzylation on a methanol, and yes, formate ammonium or molecular hydrogen as a source of hydrogen. And we got uh, six uh, substances. And it was mentioned uh, that uh, during this reaction with nitrophilic uh, uh, substitute, we had uh, the reduction of nitro group to amino group, and uh, parallel triazoles were instable on air therefore we couldn't obtain them pure. Halogen substituted um, salts were dehydrated, uh, hal uh, halogenized with the formation of non-substituted parallel triazoles. Uh, and similarly, we plan to get stable elides from parallel triazolium salts. And it was mentioned they could be in titomeric uh, equilibrium with carbons. However, we uh, formed a complex mixture of products and it was uh, impossible to prove even one norm of um, tautomer form by spectral method. So therefore, we decided to fix the presence of carbons using sulfur as a trap. The reactions were uh, carried out uh, during the processing of the suspension with uh, tributylate or uh, potassium in the presence of sulfur in inert atmosphere. Thus, we obtained several parallel triazole thions with high yield. The fixation of anhydrocyclic carbon can be performed uh, with a selenium reaction, as a result of which we received salon 14M with a yield of 70%. The reaction was carried out in the same, in the similar conditions that were used for the synthesis of parallel triazole thions. As it was mentioned, under the influence of um, bases of parallel imidazole and uh, parallel triazole and bromides uh, form elides that are in tautomeric equilibrium with carbons. Parallel triazole and bromides was interesting because according to quantum chemical calculations, the introduction of additional uh, nitrogen atom, the replacement of imidazole cycle for uh, with one to, uh, for triazole leads to the stabilization of carbon form in gas phase and in solution. And that should have an impact on uh, the chemical characteristics of parallel triazoles compared with the medicinal analogs. Now it was detected that in the absence of traps for carbines, the derivatives of 1 to 4 1 H triazole give a complex mixture of products, and the derivatives of 1 to 4 4 H triazoles uh, lead to ring opening with the formation of cyanoformidia uh, amides. And the use of uh, this sterical hindered triazole substituted by three po a third position led leads to the stabilization of a cycle and prevented ring opening. And finally, that led to the obtaining of stable form of a new type. Uh, the goals of this work was to study intramolecular aerolation of triazoles using the example of two bromide uh, so, um, derivatives of parallel triazolium bromides in order to develop the methods of synthesis of condensed hydrocyclic system. The choice of conditions was made based on literature data for aerolation of hydrocycle reactions. And the solution of parallel triazolium bromides and dimethylformamide was heated in the presence of bases and equimolar amounts of um, sulfur iodide. And it turned out that cyclization can be carried out in rather soft conditions, but and that under the impact of bases, we have a ring opening and, uh, and the formation of uh, cyanamides uh, 21. The use of a small number amount of bases uh, do not allow to have full conversion, but we still have a ring opening. And it was optimal to use two equivalents of uh, potassium phosphate. Intermolecular cyclization were carried out for 1 to 4 1 H triazole, and it was expected to get just cyclization products because we presume that in this case it is impossible to secure a triazole or ring opening. 
Yet it turned out that we have the mi cyanogrip migration here, and along with cyclization products, we see the formation of products of uh, cycle opening 21 that are similar to the ones in previous cases, though with lower yields. In order to obtain cyclization products as the main ones, we should have excluded the um, main conditions. And to this end, we chose a free radical cyclization of uh, tri uh, trimethylsilylsilane uh, and uh, AIBN. And this reaction allows us to get uh, target compounds with high yields. And this was the method that we used uh, to cycle the compounds. Um, for which um, uh, copper uh, catalyzed uh, reaction was unfit. And this uh, cyclization can lead to two types of products because the, here in a trisol ring we have two in equivalent positions where we ha may have radical attack. Though uh, carrying out the reaction, it turned out that we have just one type of products and partial uh, debensilation products. Lack of cyclization products on second position can be explained by their turning into the reduction products, 35. And in order to check this hypothesis, we synthesized methyl substituted parallel triazole bromide and uh, it was introduced to uh, the reaction and that it led to one type of products. And we also detected that cyclization products were partially heated uh, with the reaction uh, in reaction with TTMSS and AIBN. Um, uh, uh, cyclized uh, salts uh, can be shifted to um, the position 31 and they can be debensulated uh, using palladium and coal. And cyanamides 21 could also be debensulated on uh, using palladium and coal in acid conditions with obtaining of pyrrole, pyrrole of isocanamines. Until that point, we started the uh, impact of replacement of heterocycle on the reaction, and then we shifted uh, to the variation of substitute. Initially, a benzyl a substitute was replaced by methoxycarbonyl 1, and uh, the uh, final product was introduced to phenylazarine reaction with standard conditions, uh, certain neutral uh, triatolamine room temperature, and uh, the formation of pyrrole product was not fixed. And similar results were obtained with diphenylazarine. Uh, the use of more electrophilic uh, carboxylate led to pyrrole product uh, 49 with a yield of 77%. And according to spectroscopy, HSQC, H1 and 15, a uh, choice was made um, um, to choose the total Maria 49A. Uh, negative charge is mostly localized on the hydrogen um, carbon of the pyrrole ring because uh, the bond um, CO is close to the uh, double bond CO. And uh, we see the formation of dimeries due to the formation of hydrogen bonds of amide type. To study the applicability borders, applicability limits, we varied substitutes in initial salt and in azurine. The attempts to get uh, better uh, such groups as anan, dimethyl uh, amine, uh, peridine, um, and caniline and either uh, quinoline led to uh, a failure. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to do that. And betaine 49AH uh, give us quite good yields. And they have electron donor and electron acceptor groups. The use of azurine with opposite uh, substitute position did not lead to a product of bit, a parallel product of 49i. And instead of that, we got a formal demerization carbene product with a yield of 18%. Betines are um, solid substances, brightly colored, non stable in solutions, and uh, during storage. And uh, in the reaction with acids, uh, um, we have um, uh, the tarring of a compound. Uh, 
and we can get hydroxypyrroles with quantitative yields. Beta ins can be reduced by hydrogen on Adams catalyst up until 1 3 dihydrate 2 H pyrrole, uh, 2 ions uh, 56, or up until a pyrrole 2 ions 57. And the beta in 49A leads to two types of products, and uh, 49B gives uh, the products of full reduction, and beta, uh, beta in 49C give uh, pro reduction products of uh, third stage. Mm. And it should be noted that products of 57th type has three series centers. Now they were obtained in single diastereomer in cis configuration. Then we studied next type of airlines, uh, uh, trifluoromethyl substituted. Uh, uh, that are generated into a hydrate uh, trifluorum methyl to oxypropyl uh, pyridinium uh, bromide 62. The same, uh, so the reaction was the same. Uh, uh, and so we used azarine carboxylate. And we managed to obtain perloid 59 during the heating procedure. Uh, and the yield was low. The small um, a significant optimization was carried out, but it not allowed us to improve the yield of the reaction. We studied the applicability limits of reaction and we variated substitutes and azurines, and we got 10 uh, CF3 substitute paralyzed. Uh, they um, generated low yields from 22 to 15, and we did not observe specific correlation between the type of substitute and, uh, and the yield. Uh, the paralytes can be catalytically reduced by hydrogen on platinum oxide up until pepperidyl substitute pyrroles, and the reduction gives us rather good yields. Halogen substituted in a phenyl core paralytes. Uh, um, uh, were influenced by hydrohalogenization. And in the reaction, we see the products of betaine type with negative charge on a uh, pyrrol ring. Uh, during acid processing, we have salt with quantitative yield. And uh, it require, uh, it leads to the hydrolysis of ester group or the formation of pyrrol carbon acids. The neutralization of 63i salt by a triethylamine uh, leads to trifluoromethylated uh, betaine 64 with high yield. The attempts to re reduce uh, the ring led to the tarring of reaction compound. Uh, the introduction of bromide did not lead to a menopyrrole, and at that we decided to methylate uh, betaines, and methylation was carried out by methyl iodide in acetonitrile without base, and we got a number of uh, quantitative yields, and the processing of them with hydrazine hydrate allowed us to get uh, CF3 menopyrroles uh, with high yields. Thus, in our work, we achieved the following results and made the following conclusions. We devised an efficient method of uh, bromide H, 1H pyrrolimidazole uh, synthesis, uh, and we got a range of uh, uh, products and studied their, uh, uh, mm, uh, their um, reactions. And also, we uh, devised a method of synthesis of hydrocycling ensembles. Mm. And when we have no sulfur here, we see the opening of the ring and the formation of uh, and sanoformidamid uh, derivatives, uh, the introduction of substitute blocks, uh, a ring opening, and the kinetic stabilization of carbon center by volumetric substitutes g gives us a stable parallel substituted carbon. We devised methods of synthesis of new parallel triazole uh, systems by intramolecular aerylation reaction for triazoles and initial aerylation products are uh, copper catalyzed uh, lead to ring opening with the formation of cyanamides and cyanamide formation leads to the migration of cyanogroup group in order to uh, re uh, to preserve the aromaticity of heterocycle system free radical cyclization uh, using TTM SS AI beyond system in neutral conditions leads to no uh, ring opening, and this allows us to get good yield of uh, of the condensed systems. New hydrocycle buttons were synthesized with high yield. Um, 
And patterns uh, were reduced with hydrogen on Adam's catalyst up until 1 through dihydro 2H parallel R2 ions uh, uh, and parallel, uh, parallel dyne products uh, of restoration with two stereocenters uh, are formed in a diastereomeric in all cis configuration. We devised the method for synthesis of beta uh, amino alpha trifluor metal uh, pearls on, uh, based on the reaction of expansion of the cycle of alkyl or 2H azurine to carboxylates. Uh, on the, uh, with the impact of uh, peridinium elide, and primary products could be uh, methylated uh, with further split of peridinium fragment according to the sinker reaction. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any questions? I have a question on slide 15. Could you please tell me? Could you please tell me where do you find the reason of radius activity? Uh, uh, so we had quantum uh, calculations and the barrier of cyclization in this position is smaller than recyclization in this this one. And um, why 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 did it happen? Well, it's hard to say. Maybe some, maybe some steric reasons. Maybe the products are more, uh, uh, should be better choiced. So that is the question by Professor Darian. Thank you. Okay. Okay, then I'll have to stand up all the time. Other questions? Uh, can I ask the question on this slide as well? So the process, is, as you mentioned, is a free radical cyclization. Well, first of all, could you please give us details? Why you, do you think that we have the introduction of free radicals here, and at that, how did you choose the conditions? What led you to uh, the choice of such reagents? Um, because uh, there are quite polar acyl nitrile, as you mentioned. So could you please tell us about this free radical process? Well, it should be noted that these conditions were chosen based on the work carried out previously by our lab. So these conditions were already found as optimal, chosen as optimal for the cyclization of other types of products. And here they suited well. Uh, Acetonitrile choice is an experimental uh, thing, but in fact, it is frequently used in such reactions. So, and as for free radicals, did you uh, trap them somehow or did you fix them somehow? In our work, we didn't do that, but in the work that was carried out uh, previously, yes, we uh, fixed free radicals there. Other questions, if any? So, please. Professor Vasiliev. Uh, where uh, did you have this copper catalyzed reaction, Ullman reaction? So I can show the presumed mechanism, the one that we presumed for this reaction. So here we have the formation of carbon under the impact of bases, then it coordinates with copper. Then we have a reduction elimination, and under the impact of bases, we have aromatiz aromatization, either aromatization or uh, triazole ring opening. So uh, a copper comes to a uh, carbon, not by halogen. Did you try other metals, palladium, for example? Well, we tried it with copper. It worked well with copper. Therefore, we decided not to use palladium. Yes, it's reasonable. And you trapped uh, carbon with sulfur or with selenium as well. And you didn't use the complex of metal. 
Oh, platinum, palladium. Yes, we uh, got a complex with rhodium, but we did not include these results in this work oh, with a metal substitute a derivative. And also we tried to get complexes with copper and with silver, yet we didn't manage to do that. Uh, but the complexes are being formed. Thank you. So, anyone else? Uh, do you hear me? May I ask a question as well? The thing is that it was very hard for me to uh, see the presentation because I didn't see it well, and luckily I got this presentation in advance. Therefore, I wanted to ask on uh, a question on slide 20, stereospecificity of the uh, complete reaction. Uh, Alia, could you please explain why uh, there is this uh, stereospecificity in this reduction reaction of betaine? Well, basically, uh, the reduction with hydrogen on uh, palladium or uh, platinum is stereospecific, and this is explained by coordination of substrate to the surface of catalyst. Uh, to the heterogeneous uh, catalyst. So I believe here we can explain it with the same thing. Substrate coordinates with the surface and hydrogen comes from the other side. Okay, clear. So uh, this is a classically uh, support, uh, classical theory. Yes, uh, because there are some works published on that. Thank you. Okay, anyone else willing to ask a question? Okay, then could you please show our uh, slide 11? The speaker is not using the microphone, there is no sound in the booth. So you see the equilibrium 15A, 15B. So what kind of equilibrium is this? That's a classical example of optomeric uh, equilibrium. We have hydrogen in parallel atom and hydrogen over here. What kind of hydrogen of pyrrole group? OK, thank you. That's clear. And slide 16, please. So what is the difference of 30, 31 uh, uh, product with the neighboring one. Well, the position of uh, nitrogen, one triazol derivative and second triazol derivative, nitrogen over here and here. So once again, I just didn't manage to track that. Okay, thank you. Other questions? Any other uh, external reviews? None of them? Okay. So no questions, no reviews. What else do I have to ask? Uh, so the members of the board. All the reviews were published on our website so that everyone interested could get acquainted with them. So anyone willing to ask questions? No. Okay. Uh, then I kindly ask the members of the board give us a short characteristic with their reviews. So we start with uh, Dmitry Dmitry Darian. Well, I'll start with the fact that I, as a synthetic expert. Uh, who has been working with chemistry for a very long time, is very interested in this general topic of work of Leah, and the goals that were given in the work, the development of new synthesis method of unique polyhedrocyclic structures. Uh, and those approaches 
uh, that were developed in the work. They are quite original and quite uh, interesting. Uh, uh, the practical value is not questions. Uh, on the one hand, heterocyclic compounds uh, are of interest um, uh, for the biological activity and the study of physical and chemical characteristics. And on the other hand, on the other hand, uh, uh, the new heterocyclic elites could exist in the form of are uh, heterocyclic compounds that are of particular theoretical and practical interest. As key substrates uh, in this work, we use 2H azurins and uh, nitrous elides, and at that, azoleum derivatives and elides were practically not studied. And uh, we had a very detailed literature review provided in the work that includes the consideration of pyridinium elides transformations and demonstrate broad opportunities of the application of this uh, nitrogen elides and organic synthesis overall and for obtaining different heterocyclic uh, compounds. And of particular, I would like to uh, mention the detailed analysis of the mechanisms of many uh, a transformations, which is of particular importance, and I believe this uh, is a good characteristic of this literature review. As for the scope of experimental part of work, is quite impressive. The author carried out uh, a lot of uh, synthetic uh, processes, and we got uh, very detailed results that are described uh, fully. And the author managed to resolve all the um, problems, uh, finding the conditions of this synthesis and uh, uh, finding uh, bisheterocyclic systems as parallel metazole, uh, triazoles, and others. In some some cases. Uh, very interesting post modifications were carried out, cyclization with obtaining of previously unknown polyheterocyclic systems uh, with luminescent characteristics. And uh, attention is given to the study of equilibrium of bis cis heterocyclic elides and n heterocyclic carbines. And at that, we see the results of quantum chemical calculations to assess the stability of carbon tautomeres. And experimentally, uh, we uh, see the support of the existence in this equilibrium. The structure of all the compounds is uh, the structures are proven, new compounds are characterized, the credibility of data is supported by publications of the author, five articles in uh, high ranking and I would say top journals. And also the thesis in Russian uh, uh, at Russian conferences. Overall, I have a very good impression of the work. It contains practically no misprints. And I would like to um, ask several questions. Based on uh, the definition of betaine, it seems to me that it's used to define uh, the uh, ideas of the author is not very uh, correct, uh, and I would call them elides, as, for example, the initial azolium and pyridinium uh, ones. And uh, uh, the fixation of uh, carbon tautomer is not uh, that suitable, I believe, as well. It depends on uh, the meaning that you imply. For example, if you imply trapping, then uh, this idea can be used. But as for fixation, I wouldn't. I would call it as a kind of interaction that stabilizes metacyclic carbon, for example, the formation of complexes with uh, methyl. So as for the opportunities of such interactions with methyls, Leah has already answered this question. Then a question on the mechanism on the scheme 3, uh, page 81. Uh, so this uh, protoning uh, of isoridin stage, uh, is it really uh, integral for this reaction? Because it seems to me that it's not uh, highly probable. And questions on the choice of initial compounds 
uh, that did, do not compromise the scope of work that was carried out for by the candidate for the degree in the work. The author uh, does not use alkyl carbonate alloys, for example, the ones that could be obtained from uh, chlor um, uh, acetone chloride. Uh, why didn't you manage to obtain them or, or the reaction is not uh, the proper one? And second question, out of the chosen uh, substrates, I believe there's a lack of one to three uh, triazole derivatives that I believe could be easily synthetically obtained. And these remarks do not compromise the overall very good impression on the work. And that is um, full and successful scientific research on the relevant topic. And I believe that this dissertation complies with the major requirements uh, of the order on the procedure of granting academic degrees. And Ms. Fon deserves the academic degree of the candidate of sciences and chemistry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So please, the reply, what do you want to answer? The first question was on the correctness of or use of or the um, um, notion of um, elides or bethines. If we use uh, Yepak gold books, our compounds can be called sweater ions. The neutral compounds having uh, the charges of the opposite uh, opposite charges. Some restrict the use of this definition by uh, charges on unknown adjacent atoms. They call them inner salts. A uh, more exact definition of our compounds is uh, dipole compounds. Uh, these are electrical neutral molecules that have positive and negative charges in uh, one of their resonance structures. And elides are the subclass of dipoles, the compounds in which anion part of molecule is uh, close to the positively charged heterocycle. So uh, the structures could be called elides. On the other hand, betanes are uh, sweater ion compounds, uh, the glycine derivatives and other acid derivatives. Broadly speaking, these are neutral molecules will have the split of uh, charge. And if we think that we can interpret anion atoms and as any empyral atom of nitrogen, in one of the resonance uh, major canonical structures, we can use this term betaine. And uh, the compounds are formally called conjugated mesomeric betaine. And this term is universally used and widespread and being based on this, we called uh, them eyelids, excluding those combinations of uh, 14, uh, number 49 compounds. For them, we kept this uh, title betaine, and we added betaine canonical structure with a charge on oxygen over here. Uh, then second question. Is it, um, can you use this uh, carbon fixation? Well, that is an interpretation from English. Uh, maybe it's not quite successful. We can use the trapping of carbon, uh, but it's um, it sounds the same way. Therefore, that's the question of uh, preferences, I believe. So we use this fixation. You can use trapping, whatever. Third question was on the mechanism. And previously, in one of the works of our lab, it was established that um, a nucleophilic attack uh, in elides on uh, the bond uh, CN azurin, in azurin is probable only in case of activation by, proton and, uh, by protonation or complex formation in nitrogen atom. And this mechanism is considered probable because in this work, we didn't carry out special study of the mechanism of formation of parallel uh, triazolium bromide. But take into account the fact that there is a need for activation of azurin cyan connection for a nucleophilic attack was demonstrated previously. We believe that it is expedient to introduce this stage in the mechanism and the presence of three equivalents of triethyl amine do not provide, uh, does not provide uh, for the ban of this uh, uh, reversible stage. And experiments with initial azolium salts, unfortunately, were not carried out yet. And the last question was on the use of 
initial compounds that had acyl groups with alkyl, alkyl substitutes. Such uh, compounds were, see, were obtained in our lab, but those were the objects of studies of other students. And with them, we have the similar pyrroles, but the reactions are hindered and they have lower yield and the reaction uh, uh, mixtures are tired and this can be due to the fact that in, uh, there are not only active methylene groups but also acid protons of alkyl substitutes. Derivatives 1 to, of, uh, 1 to 3 triazole were not used in this work because we were mostly interested in the opportunity to generate normal heterocyclic carbines and uh, we don't need to use 1 to 3 triazoles for that. The obtained results um, provide uh, for the forecast of a similar uh, way of uh, reaction for one to three triazoles. We also carried out reactions with initial compounds that had uh, benzotriazole, furan, and typhin as heterocycles. But the reactions were not uh, developing, or there was tarring, or we got complex mixtures of products that could not be interpreted. That is it. So are you satisfied with the answers? Yes. Thank you. OK. Uh, Yelena, please, you have the floor. Thank you. Uh, the work of uh, Lear is a comprehensive scientific research dedicated to the development of efficient methods of synthesis of new uh, heterocycle ensembles and uh, condensed uh, polyheterocycles that contain parallel metazole, triazole, and pyridinium structural units. Nitrogen co containing heterocyclic compounds, including condensed polyheterocycles, are widely used in science, tec uh, technology, and other spheres of activity, and special attention should be given uh, to the use in uh, uh, medical chemistry and they demonstrate different types of biological activity nitrogen hydrocyclic fragments are included in the structure of active pharmaceutical substances of many uh, medications therapeutical medications and at that broad application of nitrogen containing heterocycles is hinted by the lack of development of a position method and in this regard the work by Leo Fund is aimed at the development of efficient me method to the synthesis of ensembles of heterocycles and contents polyheterocycles and it is quite relevant and practically important the scientific novelty is and the um, a presentation of new efficient approaches for obtaining parallel metazoles, triazoles, peridini perolites, and condensed polyhedrocycles. And also uh, during the acquisition of series of hy hybrid heterocycle compounds uh, that contained pyrrole and metazole cycles, there were no. Um, mm, there were new uh, pyrrole uh, tri. Um, is a uh, is, uh, um, uh, canalones. Uh, so the scientific novelty of the work and the results um, and the provisions uh, findings for the defense is not questioned. The practical value of this thesis is explained by the fact that the author offered uh, practically important efficient methods of obtaining the heterocycle ensembles and condensed polyheterocycles. The work of Le Font uh, can, uh, consists of the introduction, literature review, the discussion of results and conclusions, experimental part, and the list of sources. And it, uh, its volume is uh, 254 pages. Uh, the description of the results of author is um, followed by the uh, literature review, and the author uh, considered uh, Famous approaches to pearl containing heterocyclous endolysins uh, using the reaction of peridinum elides with alkaline deficit acetylenes and alkenes, and it also covered uh, metal catalyzed processes of in, uh, obtaining endolysins uh, from peridins. And um, above the synthesis of uh, nitrogen heterocycles, the author considered the approaches of acquisition of uh, sulfur and oxygen containing heterocycle compounds where um, uh, peridinium elides were used as reagents. 
and literature view is uh, very exact and uh, provides good analysis of the material and in conclusion the author makes a substantiated conclusion on lack of uh, data on the use of peridinium in light and this is, this is of non-condensed pyrroles and the need to study this field. The chapter, the discussion of results is dedicated to new approaches to synthesis of other heterocycles uh, using the reaction of 2H uh, as a rinse with the medusa oleum, uh, twice oleum and pyridinium elite. Uh, and uh, this chapter dem uh, demonstrates uh, very good work on uh, the acquisition of initial bases and on the synthesis of target structures. And a lot of attention is given to the proof of the construction of these compounds, the ch uh, study of selectivity of these reactions. And it should be noted that the acquisition of the series of target heterocycles was uh, follow followed um, uh, the search for of experimental uh, um, experimental conditions and it should be mentioned uh, that Ms. Font managed to obtain uh, less stable heterocyclic carbons that could be intercepted with the use of sulfur as an effective trap for carbons with the formation of azolthions with high yield. A positive point here is that in a number of cases, the candidate for the degree does not just discuss the reaction conditions, but also the mechanism of reaction using the, all the necessary calculations. In the experimental part, we see the description of uh, synthesis methods, uh, of processing and cleaning of the compounds. And uh, that is proven by spectroscopy, mass spectroscopy of high resolution, uh, infrared spectroscopy, and it is not questioned. The conclusions made by the author are credible, theoretical, and experimentally substantiated and are based on the uh, content of the work. And I also mentioned that I have no uh, objections on uh, the work. The material is quite logic. It's easy to re read. There are very few misprints, but there are certain um, uh, problems. Um, uh, so a misprint uh, in uh, dimethyl acylate, uh, ethylene carboxylate, then in a description of uh, initial metazole salt, the author says that the type of substitute does not influence uh, the yield of the target product, but notes that such electron acceptor substitutes as fluor uh, nitro group reduce the um, time of reaction, but comparing 3B compound um, um, with a uh, 3K compound that contains metoxy group uh, with, in the synthesis of which uh, there is an increase of reaction time up until 30 hours that leads to significant Im uh, rise in the target product um, up until 81%, I believe it's incorrect to state that. And the third question is on, uh, is that during the consideration of photophysical characteristics, the author uh, notes the similarity between the absorption of apparel is a uh, um, uh, canalines uh, 21 and 28, but on the uh, this uh, the slide we managed to see that this combina uh, combination has a high molar extinction can, uh, compared with other pearl is a canalines and the author does not explain it. But uh, these are not some principal uh, points and they do not compromise the quality of this um, uh, high quality work and the scope of experimental material. Uh, gives us a very finished scientific study, and there are five articles published in uh, uh, in uh, the um, sources uh, recommended by the Ministry of Science, and the publications um, and the results. And the publication of the results at scientific conference uh, give us the full understanding of the thesis and the. This is by Leah Font, uh, meets the requirements of the order on the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University, and Ms. Font deserves the academic degree of the candidate of sciences in chemistry in specialization 020003, getting chemistry, and the article 11 of the above mentioned order is not uh, violated. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for uh, um, uh, your remarks and indeed I will 
um, agree with you that uh, this wording on the impact of substitute uh, on the yield is not quite a good one. Indeed, uh, not for substituted uh, in prior position derivatives react quicker and they are more active in this reaction. And uh, we see the tearing of reaction mixture that leads to the reduction of the yield. But such conclusions can be made only on one or two examples, and we can't uh, uh, gener make generalizations here. But indeed, uh, I'd better say that it's hard to establish a correlation between the type of substitute in final core and the yield of reaction. Uh, that's not correct, certainly. And as for the question on the coefficient of molar extension of uh, 21B compound, that's a hard question and it's hard to answer it um, today at this stage of study because we need to carry out special uh, detailed studies, quantum chemical calculations, because first of all, we don't know whether these bands of these two compounds to the same shifts and whether they correspond the same shifts and the time between uh, the extinction and uh, the type of structure is not direct one. Are you satisfied? Yes. Okay. Uh, then I give the floor to Alexander Vasiliev. Uh, they performed uh, quite a large scale work that's even more than the standard PhD thesis and she not only wrote the articles but also demonstrated them well in the thesis. I would like to pay attention to the experimental part because all the methods given there uh, um, give us uh, the spectral data that are described quite well and um, quite clear. I have no questions to the structure. In my re review, I give the relevance and the scientific novelty in my review. And as for uh, the um, dissertations that we see, they can be characterized by several phrases. And there are certain associations. And in my review, I wrote that uh, that's a kind of palette of heterocycles. She used just a palette of heterocycles in her work. And I have no objections. And the general conclusion is uh, that uh, Ms. Font deserves the award of academic degree of the candidate of sciences and chemistry. So no comments, no, none, just on the report, but I've already mentioned them. OK, thank you. Now I give the floor to Vladimir Ostrovsky. So please, Professor, you have the floor. Uh, distinguished uh, chairman, distinguished members of the board, dear colleagues. Uh, a relevant goal of contemporary organic chemistry is the development uh, of original uh, medicine uh, medications and uh, generics that have high efficiency and selectivity and low toxicity. An important and most complex problem of an interdisciplinary process of the development of such medications is the synthesis of active pharmaceutical ingredients and substances. The, uh, such molecules uh, of the majority of medications contain heterocyclic fragments in their structures, and the novel bibliography uh, has demonstrated increased interest of leading scientific schools to polycore heterocyclic systems with a molecular mass of uh, no, uh, up until 500 Daltons that have several heterocyclic fragments, and the synthesis of such systems is implemented in five sta chemical stages that uh, go together with several technological op uh, operations. But if we use convergent strat uh, synthesis strategy, the majority of these stages uh, are hindered, and the production of the majority of uh, contemporary pharmaceutical substances is quite costly and labor-intensive. It's clear that such situation prevents a quick response of pharmaceutical industry on unprecedented challenges uh, for contemporary uh, society. And one of the ways out of this situation is the shift of uh, several stage synthesis into one reactor regime. And to this end, they use the domino reactions, not being based on the uh, advantages and disadvantages of this strategy. I would like to say that we need uh, reaction uh, capacity intermediators, catalysts, and correct choice and correct application of methods uh, that uh, 
would uh, give us the successful application of methods. Uh, the candidate for the degree being based on the Scientific School of St. Petersburg State University, specialized in Azarine chemistry, introduced her own creative input uh, into the search of optimization of uh, reactions of these uh, strange systems. The main uh, goal uh, was to study the reactions of azurine and bipolar reagents, elites that contain different heterocyclic agents. As a result, we got polycore structures that have initially chosen set of heterocyclic fragments, including uh, the uh, pyrrol ring as an element. And this choice is uh, substantiated because the pyrrol chemistry has recently demonstrated new opportunities that allow us to meet a range of contemporary uh, problems. A central role in this work belongs to the uh, 2H azurin with imidazole, 1 to 4 triazole, and pyridinium elides reactions. And it should be taken into account that pyridinium elides, starting with uh, 1935, are considered as multi target building blocks for the construction and synthesis of ferroid heterocycle systems. In 2012, scientific group that uh, of uh, our candidate for the degree declared the new strategy of uh, heterial pyrrole synthesis based on the reactions of carbonyl uh, substituted pyridinium elides. Certainly, we expect the continuation of development of these studies. Mm. Uh, and certainly we want to see this shift. And to my mind, here we could expect not, not just interesting results, but also some unexpected uh, problems that are the consequence of uh, this uh, difference in the construction and reaction capacity of azines. Uh, anti and triazoles. For example, the aromaticity criterion for pyridinium, according to Bajarsky, is two times higher for imidazole and one to four triazole. Pyridine is a P deficit heterocycle system, while imidazole and other azoles that contain py pyrrole or nitrogen element uh, belong to uh, P excessive systems. And um, we also see the results of uh, this uh, hands-on uh, consideration of uh, assessment of uh, Gibbs free energy. And uh, these are not uh, quite optimistic forecasts uh, that were demonstrated. The first attempts to carry out the reactions of phenyl uh, triazolium bromides with 2H azurins. Uh, with the presence of bases in optimal conditions led to the formation of of parallel triazole bromides with low yield. This result certainly did not satisfy the young researcher. And I, as chemist technologist, I like, I like uh, the desire of our um, candidate to overcome these difficulties using multi-factor experiment on the model compound that's table 7 layer found optimal conditions for this process that provide for the rise in yield up until 75 uh, percent unfortunately this was not reflected in your report i believe this should have been no noted and such conditions were uh, scaled for the synthesis of the model range of uh, salts and the yields uh, gave us 50 or 78 percent. The mechanism of reaction of phenylamidazole and phenyl triazole salts with azurines uh, were quite logical. The lack of spectral data, the results of uh, on the studies of kinetics and thermodynamics, and the data of quantum chemical analysis demonstrate that we have. I've uh, been dealing with the start hypothesis. In order to uh, obtain one pyrrole 3 l one h one two four triazoles and one a one h pyrrole three l four h one two four triazoles, we should have taken out the protective and benzol group from salts and a range of experiments on a reductive de benzol uh, benzylation was carried out. Uh, the candidate was not quite successful in that, and the majority of problems uh, were something that the young scientists managed to overcome, obtaining the target products with uh, satisfactory yields. Uh, and uh, later on, 
Um, uh, the candidate got a uh, very good experience, uh, became uh, confident in her abilities, and I believe that's of particular importance for a start. And this was demonstrated in this case as well. Here I'm referring to the material of Section 313 dedicated to the synthesis of an. Um, of all related uh, systems. And in this section, I believe the author uh, collected all the uh, algorithms, methodological uh, discoveries and experimental experience. And it should be mentioned that unrelated heterocycle systems inc that include five or six member heteromatic fragments uh, occupy this position of potential leaders in the search for contemporary uh, antiviral uh, medications. For example, uh, trisiverin, a domestic uh, medication that was uh, produced by our Ural colleagues and thereby the, uh, um, so it, it can be included to such objects. Uh, and by the way, they can be used as prevention of uh, H1N1. And uh, I know that uh, this medication demonstrated uh, its efficiency against um, coronavirus. And I believe that computer forecasts and the assessment of biological activity of annihilated hydrocyclic system would be uh, quite relevant as elements that support this practical value of uh, the work. And such instruments are widely accessible in university laboratories, but Leah preferred to concentrate her efforts on the study of photophysical characteristics of the synthesized pyrrole uh, triazole uh, is a kind of lines. The material of this section is of particular importance, and it gives us a multidisciplinary uh, status. And it would be even more valuable if this section would be furnished by the full-fledged analysis of photophysical parameters that included the elements of comparison with uh, benchmarks. Fortunately, we don't see it. And the fact of, of fluorescence is not uh, quite satisfactory in the conclusions. And in conclusion, I would like to mention that uh, we have a full-fledged um, work uh, on a relevant topic. It has a uh, scientific novelty and practical importance. The author demonstrated high qualification of organic chemists that can achieve uh, the set goals and analyze their result. In order to achieve the goal, uh, Ms. Font operates uh, different types of organic reactions, including the processes of free radical use. Uh, she actively uses the methodology of catalysis of organic reactions with copper salt. The meth uh, methodology of experiments uh, is described in full. And in order to prove the, uh, the structure and individuality of the obtained uh, compounds, the author uses a range of contemporary physical and chemical study methods. In order to assess thermodynamical parameters in the processes, the energy of uh, border orbitals and also the maximums of absorption of electron spectrums, uh, the candidate uh, uses the contemporary quantum chemical methods. The main results are published in uh, five um, and journals, uh, Journal of Organic Chemistry, Organic and Bimolecular Chemistry, Tetrahedron Synthesis, and so on and on. These are Q1, Q2 uh, journals. So materials were uh, demonstrated on five profile international conferences held in 2014-2017. As for the drawback of this manuscript, uh, quite a volumetric uh, section so 254 pages, that's already a good volume. Uh, that's too much for the PhD thesis. So we have quite a volumetric uh, section 3.2. I believe it's a bit excessive, and I believe it's not to the topic. But this drawback is not a principal one, and it does not compromise the um, high value of the work. And overall, uh, this is by Leah Font, titled The Reaction of Nitrogen Elides with 2H azerines in the synthesis of pyrrole containing heterocyclic ensembles on fused polyheterocycles meets the requirements of the order as of September the 1st, 2016, number 6821-1, and the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. And Ms. Fon deserves the academic degree of the Candidate of Sciences in Chemistry in Specialization 010003 Again, in Chemistry, the Article 11 of the above-mentioned order is not violated. Thank you.
Thank you. Um, any feedback on that? So there was a comment that uh, I did not study um, the photochemical values of these compounds sufficiently, but I believe that's an interesting topic, yet it could be the object of a separate study. And as the volume of the dissertation is already quite uh, high, uh, I couldn't include it in the in my dissertation. This can be an object of further study. I did not refer to that. I I did not say that it was not studied in detail. I uh, just said that you should have compared it with the benchmarks. Do they correspond the benchmark? That's the result of the study. But you did not perform that. So thus. Uh, I believe I uh, can't question the practical value. Certainly we have a practical value, but I should have arguments for that, to state that. Thank you. Well, I can say that I didn't have such a goal. Yes, indeed, certainly I should have done it. Yes, certainly that's a drawback of the work. Yes, that's a different point. Thank you. Now I would like to give the floor uh, to our last member of the board, uh, Madam Karolova from Minsk. Please, you have the floor. Oh, finally, uh, finally, <coughs> finally. Thank you very much. First of all, I would like to thank <coughs> Alexander Hlevnikov, who invited me to review this uh, dissertation. Then I would like to express my gratitude to the board of the, of the St. Petersburg State University. Um, and as I was not familiar with your tradition of uh, defense, I wrote my uh, review in the context of how I see, in, uh, how I work in uh, the council of uh, that is working on uh, the granting of academic degrees in this spe uh, specialization. <coughs> Certainly, I won't read it fully. Uh, yet, I want to uh, uh, draw your attention to uh, two points, as we have Vladimir here and Yelena uh, that have already mentioned the importance of heterocyclic compounds uh, that provide uh, for the medical and pharmaceutical sector. I would like to draw attention to the importance of organic chemistry as science, uh, because here in Belarus, I see how uh, um, I see that very little young people go, go choose this specialization. Organic chemistry is not that popular as nanotechnology, but still it provides for a good quality of of life for uh, people, and that's not. Uh, and along with organic chemistry, it provides for new material objects, new compounds, so that further on they could be used in further studies. And as for uh, the chemistry of heterocyclic compounds, it was already mentioned that uh, especially nitrogen containing heterocycles and polyheterocycles, these are the basic. Uh, uh, these are the basic compounds with the potential of biological activity, and uh, they await further studies. And this really demonstrates the relevance of the topic uh, defended um, uh, today. And as for the novelty <coughs> of the results, and uh, we pay a lot of attention to that point in our country. I've mentioned the novelty in my review, and uh, it actually corresponds with the conclusions being made. Um, and I like the original method of obtaining, uh, of securing the synthesis of derivatives, uh, try uh, a metazole pyrrole based on the reaction 
of Offenselazolium. And in the work, it is described in detail. It is brought to the optimal level. It is developed up until the optimal level, and it can be further used because it is supported by the synthesis of two series of derivatives of pyrrole that contain pharmacophore uh, substances. And this allows us to say that these compounds have the necessary potential of biological activity. Second point that I would like to uh, draw attention to is the proof of uh, nature of azolium iolides uh, and different transformations that are explained by this nature. The reaction capacity of uh, elide and carbon form of azole cycles. Uh, and here I would like to emphasize that indeed the thesis is quite an extensive one and in volume it really goes beyond uh, the requirements for the candidate dissertations. But it characterizes the author as a very good experiment, uh, experimental scientist. And uh, reading the dissertation, I had such an impression, you know, a kind of hedonist impression, because it's written well. It describes the results quite well, and the results uh, and the interpretation uh, let us see that the author is quite fascinated by the topic. That the author knows a uh, theory of organic chemistry quite well, and uh, it also shows uh, exquisite experimental capacity of uh, the candidate. And based on the reaction of intermolecular relation of one to uh, four triazoles, the offer of acquisition of new pyrrol triazole heterocycle systems was offered. Though, when I read this chapter, it seemed to me that this uh, may have given additional volume uh, to the dissertation. But regardless of the fact that polyhedrocycles are good organic compounds, still, I have such a point of view. That's it. Then what uh, interested me in the thesis, the restoration of bethanes by oxygen that leads to 1 to 3 dehydra to uh, ions, and that leads to transformation, uh, stereospecific um, transformation. That's why I asked this question. And finally, the original method of synthesis of beta amina alpha tryptor methyl 1H pyrroles on the reaction of extension of the uh, 2H azurin 2 carboxylate cycle under the um, use of elide uh, generated in, from 1 to 2 uh, dehydroxy 333 tri fluoropropyl pyridine one bromide. Uh, that is of particular importance because the synthesis development is a good result. That's an exceptional result. And all these achievements of uh, the candidate provide for the accessibility of new substances uh, that are of practical value. And those methods that she offered, uh, they are also uh, they also make a contribution to the methodology of organic synthesis. And as for the publications, you see you don't even have to praise uh, that because uh, the titles of these journals speak for themselves. Uh, tetrahedron and synthesis, these are top uh, journals. And this demonstrates uh, that the subject and uh, the achievements of the thesis I raise no questions, just in details. And as for the materials, for the proofs, they are performed in full. Uh, they are good with acquisition, uh, with the use of uh, a range of methods, magnetic spectro uh, spectrometry and others. 
And in conclusion, I'd like to say that this is a huge experimental work that demonstrates high professionalism of the author in theoretical organic chemistry and demonstrates experimental capacity in uh, contemporary organic synthesis. And as a candidate dissertation is always aimed at as a qualification work, here the qualification is fully uh, confirmed. Based on the analysis that I've uh, performed, I believe that in the choice of a uh, field in scientific novelty, uh, uh, the thesis is a finished work and demonstrates high qualification of the author. Uh, and quite frequently I uh, review the dissertations and that's for the first time um, that I do it remotely. But if the work is a good one, I'm not eager to make some critical remarks. If everything is clear, I don't write them. If something is unclear, I may ask a question during the defense. And if uh, the dissertation is of middle, of some mid-level, uh, mid-quality, uh, in this case, you are searching for some problems. But here, regardless of some stylistic misinterpretations, well, I just, you, you know, I don't uh, raise such claims because the language transforms so quickly that all these uh, state-of-the-art terms are widely used. They're becoming classic. And that's it. Basically, that's it. The thesis complies with the requirements uh, of the order on the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. And Ms. Fund uh, deserves the academic degree of the candidate of uh, sciences in chemistry and specialization 020003 again in chemistry. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Elena. Leah, any feedback? I would like to thank, uh, thank you for the review. So I'm the last to deliver my review, that, uh, and this review will be quite short because a lot was mentioned on uh, the value of the dissertation. Therefore, I won't repeat that that it is of particular scientific importance, theoretical importance, practical importance, that the results are published in the leading journals and were declared at several uh, and were demonstrated at several conferences. Therefore, overall, the dissertation demonstrates a high qualification of our candidate for the degree and its volume, incredible volume, because I showed it to uh, some of my colleagues really in two languages. There's just a huge volume uh, that certainly won't be read during two trip uh, to uh, uh, two trips on the underground, and certainly this uh, dissertation demonstrates the qualification of our candidate for the degree, and it uh, demonstrates uh, the scientific eagerness of uh, the thesis supervisor because I can mention that the dissertations are from this lab. They are also always demonstrate their quality and their large volume and their uh, good ideas. Therefore, as it was mentioned, uh, that uh, you not always look for some drawbacks. I want to ask two questions in order to demonstrate that I've read the topic. Uh, these questions will be on the topic that is of interest to me. First question on IMR spectra uh, H1C13 with a compound of 1H6, uh, uh, the 16 combination on page 170. Uh, nine of experimental part over there. You see these fragments. Have signals of metal as isopropyl group. Why? In these combinations, 19, 14, they have 
are tear methyl signals. Why so? Well, over here, uh, this uh, thing is observed in all uh, combination of this type with a disopropyl phenyl substitute, and uh, this can be uh, due to uh, a delayed rotation, maybe uh, that is the result of the work of uh, isopropyl group because this uh, CH signals are different, and you can see it in spectrum C13. So they are not that different, but in spectrum C13, you can observe that. And why? Isopropyl groups are not equivalent due to this delayed rotation around cyan bond. OK. And why are they inequivalent? So the rotation is delayed. Why not? Well, they are surrounded by different uh, environment. If there is no rotation, the adjacent fragment is a flat one. And so why are they different? Well, I can presume that this uh, is explained by the different surroundings. So a kind of chiral character of or the entire frame. Why? That's an interesting question. Well, it's just uh, an interesting point. I like to um, find such uh, problems in uh, ordinary combinations. And the second question is dealing with the topic of my uh, previous studies. Why in the sync reaction when you impact uh, when you use tan equivalents of hydrogen hydride, you see uh, the ring opening, but you don't see hydroxide from uh, ester group. It's hard to answer this question, but that's an experimental fact that uh, hydrazinolase of metoxycarbonyl group in pyrroles uh, takes place in, a har in harsh conditions at high temperatures and at um, high time period, longer time period, but it's hard to see why. So facts are facts, and why so, we never know. OK, considering the scope of the thesis, it's uh, no doubt that you can't explain anything. The dissertation that answers all questions uh, causes certain a misunderstanding. If something is unclear, that's always OK. OK, thank you. Anyone else uh, of, from the present? Uh, does anyone uh, want to speak out? No one? Uh, OK. Especially the students that um, I'll defend their dissertations later on. OK. Anyone from the member members of the board? No? OK. Now I give the floor to the thesis supervisor, Alexander Khlebnikov. <coughs> Distinguished colleagues, first and foremost, I would like to express my gratitude to the members of the board and to Yelena uh, that is working remotely for the fact that you paid, uh, you spent your time uh, on this thesis. Thank you very much for that. And I know how busy you are. And talking about Leah, I can see that her work can characterize herself. That's a good young scientist able to resolve all kinds of goals able to achieve all kinds of goals, able to learn something new, learn new ma synthesis methods, uh, invent new synthesis methods, analyze the acquired data. And I have no doubts that uh, uh, she will have very good scientific future. And I would like to wish her add some optimism. And in this case, everything will be quite all right. Thank you. 
so I can say just good uh, things about my PhD student and I would like to make a small comment on the importance so you know the Sin Fact Journal mm, Timber Publishing House that considers uh, current literature on choosers most important works as they see them and uh, Leah's work on synthesis of methylene pyrroles so it was published in Sin Fact and here I'd like to, to stop thank you thank you so next next st stage is the closed discussion of the results of uh, the scientific work but as we had no critical uh, remarks I believe we shouldn't organize this closed session I believe everyone can openly uh, say their uh, opinion and I won't ask people to leave okay any other opinions I see none so do we all hear and see each other yes yes no objections uh, therefore I raise a question on conferring uh, the academic degree of the candidate of sciences and chemistry to Leah Font in specialization 0 to double zero zero three organic chemistry and I declare open balloting and, uh, let me remind you that uh, the decision of the dissertation board on conferring the academic degree is positive provided more than half of the board members but not fewer than three people voted in favor and as in conformity with section 23 of the order on the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University well then Dmitry Dmitry Darin yes certainly I vote for the conferring of the academic degree Yelena Popova so I vote for it as well Alexander Vasiliev, certainly, I vote for. Uh, Vladimir Ostrovsky, certainly, I vote for the conferring of the academic degree of uh, the candidate of sciences and chemistry. Yelena Karolova, certainly, certainly, I also vote for the conferring of the academic degree to Leah. And my opinion is just the same. I vote for. I'm pleased to vote. Um, that we should confer the economic degree to Leah. So, uh, vote counting six participants, six people voted for, no one voted against, and no one abstained from the vote. <coughs> Distinguished colleagues, the decision on conferring the academic degree of our candidate of sciences and chemistry to Leah Font and specialization 010003 organic chemistry is made and I, I you know I don't like this position of uh, um, of names because uh, sometimes uh, uh, you know, I don't like to say Font uh, Leah Dmitrievna because I like to say Leah Dmitrievna Font. When I was a student, they declared it differently. They said it differently. We couldn't say Kuznetsov, uh, Mikhail Anatolievich. It was always uh, Mikhail Anatolievich Kuznetsov. And the same was true for everyone. So let me think, when you, when you talk about classics, you always uh, say Dmitri. Uh, mentally, if not mentally, of Dmitri. Uh, that's why I decided to comment. And uh, the decision is uh, made. So we congratulate you, Miss Font. I'm not sure about all uh, the established custom. So, distinguished colleagues, due to the fact that our session is. Uh, organized remotely and we have remote participants I would like to ask if the members of the board if the candidate for the degree or anyone present 
uh, has questions on the procedure or maybe certain uh, comments on uh, the procedure of our session. Any questions? No, I want I want to comment to make a comment. Maybe technically uh, it's not that good, but that's uh, a comment on the technical uh, component because I don't see all the participants quite well. If we were all online, I would see everyone here on my screen. And I'm used to see the face of people and I'm sitting there, yes, certainly you can see my head on the screen. Uh, you know, recently I've worked uh, also online. Mikhail, can I uh, finish the comment? So I worked online via Google Meet. And I liked it better, but maybe that was the first time. I don't see the whole, I see just members of the board, and I was surprised that there are uh, viewers there as well. And I don't see the speaker quite well, but that was my problem. And that's good that I had the presentation. So that's an offer to the procedure. Yes. It requires certainly some technical improvements. I would be pleased to be with you, certainly. Okay, please bear that in mind. Okay. So once again, we congratulate our candidate. So you delivered a wonderful presentation. So we wish you uh, all the success. And now I declare the meeting closed. I would like to thank all the participants. Then we give the floor to our candidate for the degree. Sorry, that was my fault. Well, first of all, I would like to thank all the members of the dissertation board for taking part in the uh, review procedure. Thank you very much for finding time to uh, be present at the session of the board. I would like to thank my supervisor, Alexander Fyodosyevich, for uh, his help uh, in uh, uh, for this fruitful cooperation that we had. I would like to thank my family and uh, our lab for moral support. So thank you very much for attention. Thank you. So now I thank every, all the participants and please turn off the broadcast.